You mentioned that you've been on methylprednisolone as well as some other medications for complications you've had recently and you're wondering when you can actually try to conceive after those medications have been discontinued. You're doing well to think about this. Women should always think about all over-the-counter medications, prescriptions, and herbal supplements that they're taking when they're trying to conceive because most of them will probably not be safe if they actually do get pregnant. I recommend talking with your doctor who's currently treating you and letting them know that you're, you're wanting to try for a baby. Based on their knowledge of your situation, they'll be able to determine how long you need to be on the medication for your own well-being and then after it's discontinued, how long you should wait before you try to conceive. Generally speaking, methylprednisolone has been associated with adverse outcomes when taken in the first trimester, specifically oral clefts. So again, you're doing well to think about this ahead of time. I hope the very best for you, and if you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.